looks like there's a little drama going on between King Kaiser, Nick, and Lena G. Now, apparently, Lena um, and King Kaiser did have an engagement party, and people was pretty upset that Little Kaiser did not have an outfit to wear for an engagement party. And Nick did put out a video stating that she found out about the engagement party and also about getting Kaiser an outfit for the engagement party the last minute. Now, it did piss off Lena G that she had went on um, Twitter and she put up this post saying, ABB fed the F up for real. Then right after the post that she had put up on her Twitter, she decided to go live and address this whole situation, especially with Neek, stating that Neek is a liar, saying a lot of stuff about how Kaiser does not stay with Neek. He does stay with her mother. And she did eventually told Neek's mom about the engagement party and some other stuff. Me personally, I do feel that Lena is kind of like out the, you know, out of line for this part because the situation is really between uh king kaiser and neek now they both do have a baby together and i understand she's the fiance and she wants to defend her you know her soon-to-be husband but i think she needs to step back a little bit and let neek and king kaiser deal with the situation about their son now i also do feel that um king kaiser never comes out to address the issue with uh neek that lena always got to come out on live and try to defend um king kaiser about this whole situation with this engagement um dress stuff and everything like that i just feel that she needs to let him be a bigger man and let him address the situation with his baby mom and with their son and she just needs to step back and leave it alone because it really does not concern her it does concern um neek and king kaiser i understand that their supporter is the one that's saying that um you the one probably plan not to have him um get an outfit and stuff like that because they got the two girls um, an outfit and she didn't get the um kaizen outfit but i understand in that part where she's coming from she's defending herself in that part but particularly for her to come out and say the things that she was saying on her life it's kind of wrong she needs to step back and let king kaiser and Nick deal with the situation of their son because they both was together when they made this boy and she was not part of the making of the boy so she should have stepped to the side and let him deal with that situation but anyway guys here's the video on yeah, I was not focused on my girls. Their outfit was already in the closet. I didn't go out and do the most and get them this most spectacular outfit and get their hair done. No, their outfit was in the closet. Why? Because they're going to be on the floor getting dirty and playing. Kaiser lives in Louisiana with his grandmother, not with me, with his grandmother. King communicated with Jacinda two weeks in advance. Hey, do you have some black slacks and a white button-up shirt for him because we're having a party and we want him there. She said, yeah, I do, because he goes to church. He's like, okay, cool. Checklist, he has an outfit. Can you bring it for him when you bring him to Houston? The day of, and you know what? That's our fault. We should have not even asked her, do you have black slacks and a white button-up? We should have just got it for him. Even if he was going to come or not come, we should have just got it for him. We should have not asked. And yeah, I would say that's our fault. Like next time going forward, we would not ask if he has this at that house or whatever the case could be, because it just turns into this whole big commotion for nothing. Um, so the day of when she's driving to Houston, she tells King like, hey, I forgot the clothes. And it's the day of the party. I have appointments. Mind you, I was 40 minutes late to my appointment. Like we had no time to go to the store and go pick him up an outfit. And she was heading to Neek's house anyways. And then, um, so I guess Neek found out the day of. <clears throat> period, you can own up. Yeah, like, going forward, we're not going to ask, like, hey, do you have this at your house? I'm thinking, cool, blended family. Like, if we got something at our house that you need, we'll give it to you. Like, it's not that big a deal. Like, you know what I mean? It's just black slacks and a white button-up shirt. If you had it. Cool. If you didn't, we was going to go out and buy him one, but you said you had it, so we didn't go and buy him one. Um, so that's why, what was I saying? <laughs> Stop speaking on his kid. No, I'm going to speak on whatever I want to speak on because y'all dragged me into the situation talking about, you're a stepmom, you should do better, this and that. Why didn't you make sure he had an outfit, but you made sure? My girls had an outfit that was already in their closet, but the outfit they had on was already in their closet. King, yeah, I'm speaking on whatever I want to speak on. But anyways, um, so yeah, when Neek made the video talking about, oh, she found out the day of because she didn't know about the engagement party. Yeah, you didn't know because King don't communicate with you because you don't be with Kaiser. King communicates with Jacinda because Jacinda is the one that takes care of Kaiser. So that's why you found out the day of because your mom forgot the outfit in Louisiana. And my whole thing is like, 
off camera, we've already had discussions of don't talk about us in your videos. We don't talk about you in our videos. Point blank, period. It keeps it nice and simple. It keeps everybody at peace. It keeps the co-parenting great, the blended family great. Girl, um... So yeah, that's that was an um that was already an agreement is to not talk about us in your videos. We won't talk about you. She already came to me not too long ago. She came to the both of us and was like, "Hey, can you not speak about Kaiser's school situation because they was bashing her for her not being with Kaiser during school?" And I was like, "Yeah, cool. I completely like I you know I apologize. I didn't mean for it to like I meant no harm when I was saying certain things and." Since then, I haven't spoke about his school situation. But then you're going to say what you said in your video, like we let you know last minute. When that wasn't the case, your mom knew already that we was having a party and that she was supposed to bring him these type of clothes. And then you're going to use the engagement party as a title in your video. When it's like, no, like it just, we both know how people react and how fans react to certain things that are said in videos. That's why we had already agreed on don't speak about us. We won't speak about you. We won't speak about Kaiser's school situation. That way you don't get bashed. And it just keeps the peace going. But then you did that. And then it's like, it downfalls on our engagement party. That was about us. It wasn't about the kids. It wasn't about no damn outfits. The engagement party was about us. And it's just so annoying because it's like, it can all be prevented. And I had texted her privately. I texted her privately. And I was like, Hey, like I really just don't appreciate first of all you using our engagement party in the title of your video whether you was getting kaiser ready for it or not thank you so much for getting him ready thank you for getting him an outfit like that's very much appreciated you know like since your mom did forget it's nobody's to blame but we had already asked prior does he have an outfit in louisiana black pants and a white top But um, I had already texted her prior. I texted her a couple of days ago, and it, I'm very mature. When I text her, I'm a very mature person. I keep it 100. Like, I'm not disrespectful. I don't call her out her name. And it's just getting to the point where it's like, yeah, like, this shit is just mad annoying. And then to make another YouTube video talking about I lied. I didn't lie. Nobody lied at all. Nobody lied. Nobody lied. But going forward, we will not ask if Kaiser has an outfit. We will make sure he has it way ahead of time, even if he has it in Louisiana. The problem is for Easter, I bought him and his sister a matching shirt um, because he was supposed to be with us for Easter. But plans always get switched around on their end, and they never let anybody know until the last minute. So I went out, bought them matching stuff, and he couldn't even come with us. Like, he wasn't even with us for Easter. So I'm like... Okay, we're going to buy him an outfit for the party, and then plans get switched around, and they're last minute, oh, yeah, we're actually in Florida or something, because that's how it be, and then we bought an outfit for no reason. But, yeah, going forward, um, to keep all this prevented, yeah, we just not going to be none of that shit. So right after Lena G addressed the situation with Neek, Neek decided to go put up a picture with her son saying, with the finger crossed, just me and you. Now, right after Neek had posted up that picture with her son, people in the comments was really pissed off on what Lena G was saying in her live that they went and addressed the situation. Now, here in this comment, they were saying, at the end of the day, you and Keen had to come together for your son. Don't let these people on the internet or people in your ear. In the long run, it can affect your son. You and King don't got to be best friend, but y'all got to make it right for your son. This person right here saying, Lena so mad she doesn't get support from her family. Keep being you, girl. Put that deadbeat dad on child support because you have more money than him. He doesn't want to financially support Kaiser. This person goes to say, they just mad focus on your son. That's all that matter. Kaiser would see when he's older which plan was actually there for them. Damn, father likes to move sick when another woman is in their life. First of all, why is Lena even involving herself? Like, if King not saying shit, honey. Keep your mouth shut like your man need got a life and has friends and has fun at her age. She's still young and a great mother, so don't ever dare to question her motherhood. If you want to question anyone, motherhood is yours but hers. Neek has the freedom to make any videos. There was no disrespect. Your man, she's making her own money back and is bigger than yours. Women support not bring each other down. That's virtual. You should learn. This person goes on and says, so she barely has kids because she don't see her posting him. Shit, if that's the case, I never have my kids either. Haven't posted them in years. You don't need to post your kids to prove you have them or take care of them. Her son with his grandmother and most of us was raised by our grandparents. So girl, stop. 
Lena always have her kids because they have no help. So she ain't got a choice. Like she said, she didn't have someone to watch him for the party. And that's why they was there. All right, guys. So leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about the situation that's going on with Helena, Keen, and also with Nick. And I'll catch y'all next time with a brand new video. Bye. Thank you.